What's going on guys and welcome to Somewhere in SoCal. My name is Mike Deblack and on this channel I show you guys what it's like to live somewhere in SoCal. All right, in today's video we're actually doing a repeat video. All right, a few months ago I filmed this community in Menifee. Throw something here. <laughs> All right, but um, I built great relationships with these sales guys. All right, so you've seen Tyler in previous videos. He's in me in this video too. Tyler got moved to this community. All right, he texts me. He always texts me, he always texts me all these quick moving things, right? But a lot of people don't like to wait the six to nine months for a house to be built, all right, to move out to these amazing communities, all right? So at the end of this video, if you stick around, I'm gonna show you two quick move-in homes that are available. One of them you could literally move into like within 30 days. It's like done, completely done. All right, the second one's gonna be ready at the end of May, beginning of June. All right, both are really good spots. One of them's the corner lot back, I think you might be able to see it, corner lot right across the street from the park. So, and both of those are gonna be in the low 600s, all right, ready to go. All right, so you got tons of equity with lots of upgrades and stuff. They're trying to just get rid of those ones. So that's why Tyler reached out, but I am still gonna tour these two houses to show you guys what you get there. All right, houses in this community are ranging anywhere from basically 535 as a base price, all the way up to like the high sixes. Let me get the right number for you. Whoop, bear with me. Bear with, I don't know if I want to say high sixes. All right, actually the low sixes, all right? I guess I saved you guys like 20, 30 grand there. All right, the base price on the highest models available are like 612. All right, so from basically 534 to 612, you guys can get into this amazing community. All right, you're gonna have $100 a month HOA once this thing's built out. You gotta park in the community. You've got uh, tax rate. Tax rate is gonna be 1.83%, I believe. But uh, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys these two houses plus those two model homes. We're gonna hop on a map and show you guys what there is to do around here. All right, this is a great spot within Menifee. All right, you're super close to the freeway, freeway access to the main shopping center on Newport and Han. You got access to these back roads over here so we can go up the wine country in Temecula. Uh, tons of different options, lots of things to do right around where we're standing now. So um, real quick, before I dive into this thing, all right, if you like videos like this, make sure you go ahead and do all the stuff, like, subscribe, tap the notification bell. That way you guys get, you know, stay up to date on all my videos. I post videos like this basically once a week touring new communities. There are over 100 new built communities within 25 miles of where I'm walking right now. All right, I, my plan is to film them all. Obviously, it's going to take some time to do that. So if you want access to the list of the communities that I'm going to be filming of all the new builds, go ahead and reach out to me. Shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email. My information is down below. I will send you that link. You guys are, it's really cool. You guys can either just browse and not enter any information in, or you could create an account there and it's going to let you guys like organize your favorite communities, floor plans, your houses, all that good stuff. So, um, you know, if this is your somewhere and we want to buy one of these houses at the end of this video, cool. If not, no big deal. But uh, anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and dive into these houses. Alrighty guys, so the first home modeled here is gonna be a single story floor plan. This is 1,846 square feet. We're gonna have four bedrooms, two baths, this two car garage, uh, and this one's gonna start at $558,000. So let's go check it out. Okay, so we'll walk up here. We're gonna have kind of a different entrance with the door off the side and kind of in the back over here. Maybe these kind of, I don't know, cool pillars. It's not in your traditional porch area, I guess I would say, but come on in. All right, so as we enter here, Got going into the great room that way. You got a hallway to the left right here that kind of leads into the laundry area. I'll go ahead and start right here. Okay, right, so pretty good open floor living plan here. All right, you got the white cabinets, which are kind of you know just like stock cabinets that at this community and a lot of the KB home communities right now. Uh, you do have that backsplash back there. Really nice sized island right here. Like the flooring as well. It flows into the living room area right there. Really cozy dining area right there. I'll kind of show you guys the rest of the uh, kitchen. Yeah, you can see you probably have room for an extra bar stool or two there. Bridge. You got your little coffee station set up right there. I really like that backsplash. All right. Then you got this walk-in pantry, which is amazing. Really deep pantry. So if you like to cook or have a lot of kids with snacks and stuff, <laughs> this is the house for you. All right, so there's that hallway we came in, or passed on the way in. There's some cool pictures and stuff in this hallway. All right, you've got a little storage closet right there. All right, and then right here, we're gonna have our laundry room. Got some cabinets up top, and head up to there. We'll head down this hallway to the left. We're gonna have bedroom number one. They got this one set up as a nursery. All right, it feels like a standard size bedroom. I'm gonna get the closet right there. And then this window does peek out to the entry to the house out there where we walked in. 
All right, across the hallway here, we're gonna have another like linen, linen closet type thing. All right, and then we've got bedroom number two. This one feels a little bit wider, or a pretty decent sized room. A window to the backyard there, and you got your sliding mirror closet doors. All right, we'll head further back down the hallway here. All right, you got the garage right here. This is the sales office right now. All right, and then you've got bathroom number one right here. Got the dual sinks, which is huge in the morning with kids getting ready for school. Got two kids brushing their teeth, washing their face, doing their hair, all that good stuff. I guess girls do their hair maybe differently. <laughs> when I had my brother when we were younger, we used to have, like, have to do it and separate and do times and stuff. So anyways. All right, so we got bedroom three here. This one feels long and skinny. You got the two windows looking out to the front. Pretty cool. A little tennis, tennis room. Oh, Wimbledon. There we go. All right. You got a closet there. I like the amount of light coming in through here. It's pretty cool. All right. Let's head on back down this long hallway. This is kind of the walk the kids would take in the morning or whoever lives down here when they're getting ready for school, go to the kitchen for breakfast. I got the pantry there, copy station there, big old kitchen. Really cool. I'm going to go to the backyard. If it's open, then I'll show you guys the master. All right, once again, these backyards come as dirt lots. All right, but I kind of just like to show you guys the inspiration out here. Uh, one of the main questions I get when people buy new builds is like, how much does it cost for the backyard? All right, um, number one, I've got people for you if you don't have those people to, to do backyards for you, but it just depends how complex you want it to be. You know, I had someone buy a house in this exact community. She did a pretty basic backyard. I think she spent 15,000 ish, a uh, pretty good size backyard, bigger than this one we're standing in. All right. But I've also talked to some of the neighbors and they're getting, you know, you can spend 40, $50,000 to really do up your backyard. So it's really up to you. But, um, you know, I would say 10 to 15,000 is probably, you know, the floor for a, you know, pretty decent backyard. Right, let's head back on in. Let me see the master. Here, boom. All right. And go into the master. You guys a little taste there. Decent size master. That's where I throw my TV up there. They do have a spot for the TV and it flows nicely with the floor plan. The window's looking out to the back and then we've got our master bathroom. Now you could put a, a door here or you could leave it open. Totally your choice, all right? I've seen people do those sliding barn doors. Uh, anyways, all right, so we got the dual sinks there. You got the cabinet space and the mirrors over there. All right, you're gonna have this shower right there. You're gonna have your towel or storage closet area right here. Throne area there. And then we've got our walk-in closet. All right, I can't, I can't do the full spin test because it is, it's not like that wide this way. All right, but it's, it's pretty wide this way. Like I'm not, not even close to either edge, so it's really wide that way. Um, so you know, definitely enough space for two people to put their stuff in there. All right, guys. So that was our first model of the day. Again, just to recap, that one is 1,846 square feet, four beds two baths, this amazing living area with this awesome kitchen and that huge pantry down there. All right, and this one starts at $558,000. All right, next up, we've got our second model here. This one is gonna be 2,454 square feet. We're gonna have three to four bedrooms, two and a half to three baths with a loft. All right, tons of different options here. All right, and this one starts at $606,000. All right, uh, a couple things I just wanted to point out here. They really emphasize the garage when you come in to meet with the sales team here. They emphasize kind of the garage, and this is kind of where they showcase all of the energy efficiency stuff that they got going on. So this is a kind of a live example of what a garage would look like. We don't get to see most of them on the models. Like you got the electric vehicle charger there. You got your solar stuff and your batteries there. You've got your uh, water heater there. So lots of cool stuff there. There's the entrance. Uh, another cool thing with this particular floor plan and this model is going to be this amazing porch. All right, not a lot of the new builds have porches this big. So, you know, you can take, take advantage of some of these amazing views out here and, you know, desert views and the sunsets and sunrises, depending on which way your house faces. But really cool setup on the porch out here. Anyways, let's go into this one. All right, so right as we enter, still recovering from surgery, so I'm walking a little gingerly. All right, so uh, you got a nice storage closet uh, right here with lots of space under the stairs. We do have a movie theater. They're using it. My kids would be mad. <laughs> but uh, so we'll save upstairs for last. We'll walk in here to the great room, give you a little peek of that. All right, so you got the great room there. But before we dive into that, let's go to the left here. We're gonna have bathroom number one. Really loving the tile right there. I mean, other than the tile, it's pretty standard <laughs> bathroom. All right, right here at the end of the hallway, we're gonna have a linen closet or storage closet. And then we've got bedroom number one. 
All right, this thing is pretty big for a secondary bedroom. All right, it almost feels like a junior suite type of thing. All right, but you do have a little pop-in or walk-in closet. You know, not your traditional walk-in, but bigger than a normal closet. I like the way they set this one up. All right, so it does feel pretty big, bigger than your traditional, you know, secondary bedrooms. We'll walk out to the great room. All right, so we've got our nice kitchen with a huge island right here. And a pantry right off to the side of the fridge. So not the most space in the pantry, all right, but it can get the job done. You got lots of cabinets. And it's got a huge island cabinets. You got the electric stove, all right? Going forward, right? Any house that's built after the we'll start, basically once ground, if ground got broken in 2024 or later, all, right, all these houses and stoves and stuff are gonna be electric. So if you find the house has gas, um, it's gonna be rare slash impossible. All right, coffee station there. Got our little dining area set up. And then we've got our living room. All right, so really cozy, you got that window going out to the back. Got this huge slider doors. I'm almost positive this is an upgrade with the door one maze zero. All right, and then really nice backyard here. All right, so this covered patio is gonna be an addition as well. All right, but I like the way they did this one. Really cool setup here. I like this. Just give you guys some inspiration. All right, let's go upstairs. All right, so as we're walking upstairs, just a reminder, all right? If you guys want to whoops, stay up to date with all of the various new builds and stuff like that, all right, I do have a website that has all the new builds. I'm trying to film all 100 plus that are within 25 miles of me, but that might, that might take some time. I'm doing like one to two communities a week. So uh, if you want to stay up to date on all the new build stuff and have access to what I have access to, all right, shoot me a text real quick and I will shoot you the link to the, um, basically the list of new builds in the communities. That way, if you see something you like, you can reach out to me. You know, maybe it's in a spot that I haven't filmed yet, or maybe um, you're thinking about a place and you kind of want me to help you guide you through that process. So uh, shoot me a text right now and I will just send you that link quickly so you guys can make your own little account there, organize your communities, your houses, all that stuff, all right, before, you know, I get to filming them. So yeah, anyways. All right, we're at the top of the stairs now. We have this loft that greeted us. Very cozy for like movie nights, stuff like that. I'm out of shape. You can't tell my breath is like it's been a week since I've been standing up basically. So, all right, I'll save the master for last. Let's walk down here. We got a linen closet at the top. That's kind of cool. Unique art and stuff like that. All right, so we're gonna have bedroom two right here. This feels pretty good too. Pretty big size. You got your closet doors there. This little like window pocket thing where you can sit and read or Shoot, you could take a nap there if you put some padding, <laughs> padding there. Or if you have teenagers, this is where they'll sneak out in the middle of the night. <laughs> Just saying. I was I was, I was, was a good kid, so don't, don't judge me. All right, I got bedroom three up here. Another really good sized room. Three windows there, giant window. Not side of the bed. Pretty good sized room. All right, at the end of the hallway here, you've got your bathroom. This is bathroom two, we'll call it. Cool tile there. You got the two sinks. Nice little backsplash there. Shower tub combo. And then you got this window looking out. All right, let's head back. We're gonna have the laundry room right here. We got that same tile in both spots. Got the laundry hookups. You have some like shelving up top there. And then you got this sink area, which a lot of people really like the sinks in the laundry area. If you have something like tough stains or you gotta clean up clothes up or whatever, you got the sink there, which is really nice. All right, but we'll head back this way to the master and boom, Whoa, this one's pretty big. Really good size master bedroom. Kind of give you guys the full feel of it. Really big bed, you got the dressers or you know nightstands on the sides there. Really nice, I like that mirror too. What's up Mike? All right, <laughs> all right, let's flow into here. All right, so as we before we enter the master bathroom, we got a really big master, oh, master closet, <laughs> a really big walk-in closet. All right, it's a little narrow. I have to stretch my arms a little bit. All right, but there's definitely a ton of space in here. Right, let's go back this way. Ooh, oh, it looks cooler for a second. Sorry, my I had a brain fart. <laughs> I thought the floor was different than it was. It's, it's still pretty cool, I guess. All right, we got the throne area there. All right, you got your dual sinks. You got your little mirror cabinet thing on the side over there. All right, you got the. I like I like when they have the option for a bath and shower in the master. Uh, some builders are starting to just do a shower only in the masters. Personally, I'm a bath guy. <laughs> I know there's not a lot of bath guys out there, but I'm one of them. 
my daughter gets me bath salts and bath bombs and that kind of stuff from her Christmas and my birthdays because I like to relax. Anyways, all right, so we're wrapping this one up. All right, so this one here was 24.54 on the square footage. We had the four bedrooms, a loft, two and a half to three and a half baths, depending what you'd like to do. All right, and this one right here starts at $606,000. All right, guys, so before we dive into those quick move-ins that I promised you to show you guys what those look like, I, I do wanna show you where we are, what there's to do around here, whether it's schools, hospitals, things to do, shopping, all that good stuff. So cool, these houses, if you like them, great, but what's life look like if you're living here? So that's what I'm gonna show you right now. So let's dive into the map. All right, so as I mentioned, we're in the city of Menifee. Hopefully you know where it is. If not, I'm just gonna zoom out here and kind of show you. So there's Menifee right here. It's just north of Marietta and Temecula. All right, kind of just in, I don't know, part way between LA and San Diego and Orange County, all these spots. So, um, you know, one of the seven fastest growing cities in the whole country. All right, but let's zoom in and kind of show you where we are. So right now we are at Oak shade where are we at there's all right oak shade at shadow mountain all right that's where we're touring right now uh, a couple things i just kind of want to point out really quickly all right one of the big questions i get is always about uh hospitals so you'll see right here you've got menifee global medical center right on the other side of the mountains uh behind of where we're filming right now all right uh if you're someone who has kaiser all right there's a kaiser just a couple exits down the freeway so you go you know freeway quick easy freeway access right here to mccall to the 215 you go down two exits and you're at the Kaiser here in Marietta slash Menifee, right where they border over here. Down here, you'll have to trust me. <laughs> it's down here. All right, a little bit further down, we're gonna have another medical center here. We got Rancho Springs Medical Center. You've got Loma Linda right next to the Kaiser up here. So lots of different medical options. And then also, uh, if you needed a Kaiser Hospital, you got the Kaiser Hospital up in Moreno Valley, which is just north of up in this area up here. All right, it's about a, I don't know, 20 minute drive from Oakshade, so it's not too far uh, as far as distance goes. All right, so other things to do around Oakshade here. If your kid, you got kids that are going to school, all right, the schools are actually pretty close. So you got an elementary school right here. All right, you got Boulder Ridge Elementary, all right? So you see the community here, right? Boulder Ridge Elementary entry is in the community here. All right, for middle school, you're gonna venture off into Heritage Lake, all right? You're going to have Ethan A. Chase Middle School, which is super close. We're talking five to seven minute drive from where this video is. And then for high school, you've got Heritage High, all right, which is basically you can either go up to the 74 and cut across or kind of cut through Heritage Lake community there. All right. And Heritage High School is right here. So all three school levels, whether it be elementary, middle or high school, are less than 10 minutes uh, living here in Oakshade. All right, and then as far as shopping goes, like I said, you're really close to the freeway. You got, you know, just that one right here down to McCall. You got gas station right here. You've got barber shop. Uh, you go further down here, you're gonna have a Wendy's on this side of the freeway. You got Jack in the Box and they're building a Burger King there. Um, additionally, I totally forgot to mention this because it's brand new. All right, so we got Oakshade right here on the corner of Menifee and McCall. They're building a giant shopping, I shouldn't say giant, but they're building a shopping center right here with a 7-Eleven gas station. Uh, they're gonna have a Stater Brothers, Chipotle, Starbucks, and some other things as well. I think the, some sort of ice cream shops going there too. So this is supposed to be ready in summer of 2024. Uh, it's going up pretty quickly there. So, I mean, you're gonna have convenience, just a couple minutes away, you got options on this corner, you got options down here uh, with the gas station, the AMPM and the Mexican restaurant there, or uh, fast food place there. So quick, easy freeway access. And then if you wanted to go north, all right, up one or two exits, you got Home Depot, you've got Winco, you've got all kinds of options up there. If you go south a little bit, you get to the main shopping center in Menifee with Target and Best Buy. And it's really the main shopping center that I always mention. So they call it the four quadrants. There's all kinds of shopping here, kind of this whole strip right here it is all kinds of restaurants, fast food, like I said, Target, Best Buy, there's a Kohl's, all like literally almost anything you can think of is going to be in this shopping center. All right. And the other really cool thing is you got easy access down here to Newport, which is like the main one of the main artery roads and it goes down to the 15 freeway if you need to access the 15 okay um, other cool things to do around where we are now the four main lakes all right you're gonna have lake paris up here you got diamond valley lake you got lake skinner and you got lake elsinore canyon lake is a private community so i don't really count that one all right but you know you can go camping and, and you know some of these places you've got obviously water sports and that sort of thing there's also tons of hiking around here and outdoor activities lots of youth sports programs that are really good so this area is really good for your families you know a lot of people here moving here from orange county la san diego shoot, vegas arizona the bay area uh, really all over i have people from new york calling um so people from all over 
are looking to move to this area. Like I mentioned, it is one of the fastest growing cities in the whole United States. So it's really cool there. Um, also, you got wine country down here in Temecula in this area back here where, where it says South Park and Sage and that there's wine country is over here. So a short drive if you like the wineries and cool sunsets and, you know, outdoor entertainment, you know, whether you're someone who enjoys wine and, and drinking or not. All right. It's a cool vibe, cool atmosphere there and some good food and stuff like that. And then just generally speaking, you know, we're about an hour ish away from Disneyland and Angel Stadium, about an hour, hour 15 from, you know, the gas lamp down in San Diego, probably about 45 minutes from Legoland, hour away from Palm Springs, Palm Desert area. It's, you know, still about a, I don't know, three, three and a half hour drive from Las Vegas. So really good location um, within Southern California, gets you lots of different access to things. And, you know, it, like, if you wanted to go to the mountains, even, you know, we're about, I don't know, hour, hour 15 from like the slopes up in Big Bear. So tons and tons of options uh, that I kind of just want to show you guys what there is to do around you, you know, where we are now and what life would look like if you actually live, let me <laughs> back to it. All right, if you actually lived where we are today in, all right, anyways, let's get back to our tour. We'll meet Tyler and go over these quick moving All right, so I'm out with Tyler and I don't know if you can hear me. So we're going to talk about the house inside, but anyways, take a look at the outside. <laughs> All right, so you guys might remember Tyler from, well, actually, only like 20% of the people watch the videos again. <laughs> Anyways, most people aren't subscribed, but if you watch my videos before, you've seen Tyler in Homeland. Tyler's my guy with KB, and he's yes, the guy sir. that reached out to me. So that's why we're having this video today, because Tyler sent me a message saying, hey, we got some quick move-ins. I know some of you guys like quick move-ins, so boom. So this is not a model home, uh, but Tyler, tell us about this house and everything. I'll let you do your thing. Yeah, absolutely. So you've got one of our biggest single stories that we have. And it's about the same price as our biggest single story over there. So it's about 400 square foot bigger. But this has four bedrooms and a den, which you will see it's got about $30,000 in upgrades already included. And it dropped the price by $30,000. So this one's on the market. It's listed for $627 right now, down from about $657. So you're definitely going to want to come check this out. Like I said, you'll see all the upgrades included. We've got the flooring done. This is the big den back here. It's tucked away. Get a shot of that. So this is what's typically set up as an office or den area in most of the model homes. So yeah. I know it's probably a little bit hard for some people to envision what it is, but this is on some of the other tours that I do, this is kind of set up as an office type thing. You, the, you can see the little added feature, the sink behind the door there. Oh cool, so you have the laundry area. And then just like that second model home I showed you guys, the two story one, they have the sink in the laundry room, which is really cool. And Tyler, when's this one available? What's the movie? This one's this? ready to rock. This one's finished. We're just waiting for somebody to buy it so we can give the final sign off. Oh, sick. Okay. So get it all cleaned up for somebody. But beautiful. You can see the updated cabinets and counters. And then behind you here, they if we go into the uh, primary bedroom, nice and big out here, but they also added oh, the tub huge. in the bathroom as well. So. You, you look like Will Smith in that meme. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, nice. Very, this is a big master bathroom here. You got the huge walk-in. You know, the throne the area there. Too. You got the stand-up shower tub combo. Oh, this cool little like landing area for candles or something. <laughs> you know how big this thing is? Nice. Absolutely. I always do the spin test in here. Guys, this is a, a pretty, pretty good size. It's, I guess, I don't know, uniquely shaped, right? But there's definitely enough space in there. The two sinks. So we can show the, uh, the privacy factor. The back's up to the mountain, so you've got nobody behind you. You've got plenty of space, not only in the back, but on the side here as well, just to set up a nice little oasis. I, I know people are gonna ask, yeah. right, on this video. Coyotes, animals. Well, it's funny, yes, we have had that come up too, but these uh, wrought iron fences, they don't allow them to climb them at all. I actually back up to a flat land just like this, and I have that same fence, and we don't have any issues. I've literally seen coyotes walk right by my fence, and okay. yeah. So guys, I always tell you these things come as dirt lots in the backyards and I show you the inspiration of the model, the models. All right, but you know, here, here's one, a live example right here. It's not a dirt lot, it's a blank canvas. A bl okay, sorry, sorry. It's beautiful, it's ready, <laughs> to, using be, the... <laughs> it's ready to be painted. He, he's using the builder terms. I'm using the, I'm using the, I'm using the real people approach. <laughs> and, <laughs> anyway, so you guys, this side of the house over here, all uh, right, yes, this is your blank canvas. Do what you want with it. Yes, make there. it your your own beautiful and then, oasis. And then you're gonna have really cool views. The sun sets over that way, so you can get cool sunsets there, those cotton candy skies. And then over there, you got some cool sunrises and people fly, not people fly them, but there's balloons up in the air sometimes. <laughs> yeah, people do fly those things. And the biggest, the, the, the biggest highlight about this place um, is just the deal you're getting. I mean, you're getting your keys with like $30,000 in equity. Because the homes other this size, I mean, they've sold for well above what we're selling this one for. It's just the last two homes we have at Durango to sell. So we've priced them specially and we're just trying to close out the community. 
So that's what you're seeing here. Oh, cool. That giant island there. One thing I'll point out, I'll always point out, is I like how the sink is way over there. So you guys have parties or you know gatherings at your house. You don't mm -hmm. have dirty dishes stacking up here. This could be your chips and salsa, your charcuterie board. You get the TV up there behind Tyler. Just envision there. So yeah. I think we skipped right by the bedroom. We did. Take a glimpse of the three bedrooms up front. Okay, so this one's four bedrooms with that den. So really, lots of space for a yeah. single story. So you got the three up front. All right, cool. We'll start in the very, very front. Oh, this is a really good sized room. Got the two windows going out to the front of the house. So we got this storage closet type thing. We got bedroom. We'll call this bedroom two because the master was the first one. Or the, I guess. Uh, <laughs> you guys know what I mean. All right. So this one right here, pretty standard size bedroom. Got the closet doors right there. We got the third. Other bedroom that's not a master, we'll call it. <laughs> All right, so really good size. This one, this one feels really big for being a secondary bedroom. All right, and then we've got. Whoop. All right, so you got here. Uh, we'll call this bathroom one. There's only two two bathrooms on this yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. So two bathrooms. You got this one and then the one in the master that we saw. All right. You got the shower tub combo. There we go. We got, and then obviously this floor is an upgrade too, right? Yes. This is LVP luxury vinyl plank flooring. That's probably the basic, biggest expense they put into this place. So I have to touch on the features in the garage. Okay. It good. looks like your normal basic garage. It's gonna be kind of echoey. Sorry. Yeah, all good. But you can see it comes with a dual backup battery in all the, these garages. You have the outlet that's pre-wired for any electric vehicles. So you just add your charger to that. That's a huge thing that no other community is doing. Then you have an 80 gallon electric hot water heater. Oh, so. nice. A house this size, biggest family could move into this, and you're never gonna run out of hot water with that big thing. So sweet. All right, cool. That's Let's... pretty much all the features. All right, so real quick, as we're walking out, one thing I always do is I like to give them the recap. So you can give them the recap of what we got going on here. So this was yes. four beds, two baths, a den. Yes. Move in ready now. Like someone could watch yes. this video, call you, and say, "Hey, I want that one yes. now." You can you, thirty day escrow. You can get your keys for this one. Um, Twenty three hundred eighty one square feet, priced at six twenty seven. And um, our, our lenders buying rates down to a 5.875. So, wow. Definitely give us a call and we'll, uh, we'll get you moving on this. All right. So, this one's a quick move in. We're going to show you another move in here Oops, in a second. Let's go see it. All right. So, here we go. We're outside our fourth walkthrough we're doing today. Once again, this is another move in ready home. Tyler, you said this is going to be ready first week of June, basically? Yeah. So, we should be done with this in May. All right, sweet. So give us the specs on this one, the rundown, the cost. Absolutely. Everything. So the house we just walked through, you can picture it very similar. That one had four bedrooms. This one has three bedrooms and the den as well. It's got $25,000 in options. You're not going to see them yet because we're getting this one done pretty quick. But these are the last two homes in Durango to sell. So they want to close this community. They want somebody to buy these homes. That's why they dropped the price by $30,000. And you said the price was what again? Six nineteen for this Six nineteen. dollars Yeah. And one thing I do want to point out, guys, you are on a corner right here. You're gonna have this park right across the street. Huge, to me, that's a huge bonus. Yeah. Right? If I got young kids, I got. <laughs> yeah. You guys know I got a million kids. I got four kids, so this would be a huge bonus. You've got. I threw the drone up in the beginning, but you guys will see the park there. You got grass area. There's a track around. You've got basketball hoops, playgrounds. There's gonna be amazing views out that way for sunsets, guys. It's. <laughs> I don't want to overdo it, but the sunsets here are amazing. All right, Tyler. Let's. Yeah, let's get through it real quick, just so they can kind of feel the size. Yeah, they've got 19 feet of side yard on okay. this side, so this is huge. Nice. That's what you get those quarter lots too. Yeah, right? and the HOA does allow RV parking. They just kind of have to submit their plans. You would have to add a gate right here, and then you know it has to be parked behind it. But that's plenty of room. I think the average RV is like 13 feet, so you got 19 feet to play with here. Nice. So this is coming with the same similar upgrades. We're gonna have LVP flooring, quartz countertops in here, um, white cabinets. So you've got two bedrooms up front, very similar to the last one, but these closets on these ones are a little bit bigger. They're both kind of big walking. Oh, closets. nice. Yeah, they're walking here. Yeah. So you guys are going to have to envision a little bit, right? But this thing will be ready by summertime if you guys want it. All right. So you got a little pop in walk in closet thing there for bedroom one. All right. We got bedroom two right here with another little pop in closet, walk in closet. There's a window going out to that side yard that we looked at a second ago. Really good sized closet for secondary bedrooms. Mm -hmm. So we have our first bathroom right there. Lots of imagination needed here <laughs> for, for now. And I have pictures of all the features okay. that are going into this so they can see that if they want it emailed. Okay, cool. This is the den over here. You are gonna have double doors right here. Oh, beautiful. So yeah, it's kind of closed off. It's a nice closed off office space. Really the other cool. one didn't have the doors. Like that. You got the, that's cool to have an office there with those two windows too, lots yeah. of light. 
Then laundry straight across, access to the cool. garage. Cool, you got the garage access here. So this is like a linen and storage yep. closet right here. Yep. And then we got the laundry room. Cool, sink in this one or no sink in this one? I don't believe so. Okay. And then very similar, big open great room. The pantry is connected to the kitchen. The other one is kind of a lot, actually a much bigger pantry than that last house, but. Oh yeah, it is bigger. Lots of lots of space for food. <laughs> Once again, if you've got kids, uh, you got all the snacks and going <laughs> all the different shelves and lots of pantry space. Is th this one right here? Question. So obviously the island's here. Yep. Fridge is gonna go right here. Fridge there. Yeah, you'll have your your range and your okay. your microwave right here. Island facing out. Very is, similar to that last one. This island here is gonna have a sink in it, or the sink gonna be over here. Sinks over here. Sinks over here. Yep. Really cool. So that yeah, exactly like the last one. Okay. Right? Okay. Cool. So nice here. Nice little flow to this house. And the primary bedroom again. This one's big too. Yeah, this one even feels a little bit bigger. It does, it feels longer. They still have the tub going in, so that's an added feature. And they'll have their sink off to this side over here. With the overhead lights. Cool. And a big walk-in closet again. A little throne area there. Oh yeah, this one's big. I get there's no light in here right now, guys. I'm gonna do my spin test. This this would pass the spin test. You just gotta trust me if you can't if you can't <laughs> see me on there. All right, it's, it's definitely big enough. Love it. All right, so we've got to the backyard real quick. Yeah. Wrap this baby up. So there is somebody directly behind you guys, but they're so high up, you're not ever gonna see them. They're never gonna see you. But you do have this slope, and because it's a bigger than five feet, we're gonna landscape it for you. It'll have a drip line irrigation system going into the hill there, and then just some plants all throughout. But you could very easily, after you move in, you know, cut into that hill a little bit, put a retaining wall, kind of open this up a little bit. But again, it's a, what do we call it, Mike? It's a blank canvas. Blank canvas. Make it your own oasis out I'm, here. I'm learning the term. So my future videos, <laughs> when you hear me say blank canvas, I'm always gonna reference Tyler. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really cool. Oh, dude, this is awesome with this, this wrap around here. Another feature of being on the corner lot is like all your guests can park right there too. Mm, you know? That's, that's so a good, good point. You could host 20 people on this house and they all have a spot to park. Yeah. Now you guys know I'm a baseball guy. All right, that's how I met Tyler. We, we coach Little League together. Anyways, yep. instead of an RV, I would make this a batting cage per yes. <laughs> personally. Absolutely. All right, but if you have an RV, do your thing. But if you like baseball and stuff, this is perfect yeah. for a, a good spot for kids. You could do basketball hoop if you're a basketball family. You could do a batting cage if you're a baseball family like me. Great call. <laughs> Anyways. All right, so we got just to, just to recap this yeah. this one for me, please. So yeah, this is two thousand ninety nine square feet. So let's just round up to twenty one hundred square feet for six hundred nineteen thousand dollars. Like I said, they dropped that price by thirty grand. It's got twenty five thousand dollars of options going to be in this place. I could show you detailed pictures of everything that's going in. But the last two homes, I can't stress it enough in Durango, they're going to go quick. Um, that's why they dropped it out, dropped their prices down because we just want to close out this community. So. Come jump on this one. Yeah, so one, one other thing I want to point out. All right, that's, you said 619? Yeah. 619 for a corner lot with this big old RV driveway parking lot thing, if you, if you wanted to do that, right across from this park. All right, so this is just incredible. And then you're going to have the model homes right here. So you're going to be living, I don't know. Yeah. If, I don't know if proximity to model homes matters, but <laughs> those nice models we walk through are just going to be right across the street right there. So right. If you right move here. in in a month, I'll be your neighbor for the next year. Because we'll <laughs> probably be here for another, you know, till the end of the year. So that'll be cool. Awesome. Well, thank you, Tyler. Yes, sir. All right, guys. So that was Oakshade by KB Homes in the city of Menifee. All right. We toured two models, showed you two quick move-in options. We hopped on the map and kind of showed you guys what there is to do around here. Uh, so hopefully you guys are able to find some value in this video. All right, if I was able to provide some value, you guys can go do all the stuff, like, subscribe, tap that notification bell. All right, I'm posting videos like this one basically every week showing you guys what it's like to live somewhere in SoCal. I hope that you guys take me seriously when I say, like, I build relationships with these builders, all right? Tyler sent me a message to, you know, he knows you guys watch my videos. He knows a bunch of people are reaching out. I'm constantly bringing people to him. He said, hey, Mike, I got these two quick move-ins available. All right, you should come film these that way. You can help people out, all right? Because most people don't want to wait the six, nine months for that new build to move into, all right? You got that one on the corner right there that we just saw, then up across the hill. I forget, I think it's up that way behind the second row houses there. All right, so you got one that can be moving today. One of them is ready by June 1st, all right? And then there's 40 plus models still available. So uh, they'll be building out through the rest of the year, basically. All right, like I said, $100 HOA. The tax rate is 1.83%. You're in a great spot within Menifee. Like I showed you on the map, you're really close to a lot of different things. The freeway is like right that way. All right, one exit from like the main shopping center. You got this amazing park right here. And, right, if all the power goes out in Menifee, there's a power outage, you're gonna have power in this community. 
<laughs> I think that's pretty cool too. So if you want to take advantage of one of these options, all right, or want to go see some houses, reach out to me. All right, you guys, I work for you guys, not the builders. All right, you even saw, <laughs> you even saw a little bit of that terminology on that one house in the backyard. All righty. Uh, I don't sugarcoat things. I tell you guys what it's like. All right, so if you guys you know want to work with me, then whether this was your somewhere or not, reach out. My contact information is down below. But like I said, do the stuff, like, subscribe, tap that bell. All right, that way you guys can stay up to date on all my videos. All right, so until the next time, I'm gonna throw up a playlist right here of new builds like this. So if you like this one, you're gonna like these videos. All right, and then YouTube's gonna put something here that they think you're gonna like too. So anyways, I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.